Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts Shipyard Champions. We're going to be doing a fun challenge today as created by you, Larry. It is I Am a Pole. On the 6th of March 1941, German battleship Bismarck set sail towards Kiel to load ammo and begin its final preparation for Operation Rheinübung that would commence two months later. During that fateful boat trip, the Bismarck sank a battlecruiser, but it also ran into an enemy she could not defeat. And no, I am not talking about the swordfish insects, says you, Larry. I am talking about a fierce enemy, the Polish destroyer Piorun. The mission. You'll be given a task force of three destroyers and a single heavy cruiser. And your task is to engage the Bismarck and keep it occupied as long as possible. We're going to be using three pre-designed destroyers, which are the Piorun class, and one heavy cruiser of my own design. The time of day is just daytime, it's clear weather, so no sneaking up on the Bismarck in a storm. The point system is very interesting. Only the destroyer Piorun can sink or can earn you points. Every 100 damage she does to the Bismarck will gain you one point. These remain even if Piorun dies during the engagement. Sinking the Bismarck will earn you 50 points and possibly a bonus. Historically, the Puron's captain announced to the Bismarck that she was a Polish ship while engaging. However, you only brought a short-range radio, and as such, you can only do this within 5 kilometers from the Bismarck. If you do, however, you're able to double the points earned this engagement. To earn this, you must proudly announce that you are a Pole within 5 kilometers from the Bismarck. So we're going to be sending a destroyer up to a battleship armed with primary hefty guns and a very nice amount of secondaries with essentially no cover and announce that we are Polish destroyer um, and try not to sink. Sinking the Bismarck while the Purin is alive, you get to double the total earned points. He says, so yes, you can double the already doubled points. Restrictions. The destroyers are armed with torpedoes, but you are not allowed to use the destroyer's torpedoes. This is to simulate that the attack has been ongoing for a while already, and that you've used up your torpedoes. The heavy cruiser can fire torpedoes, and Generation 3 radar is not allowed. So it's a very interesting challenge. We're going to take a destroyer uh, within arm's length of the Bismarck, and proudly announce that we are a Polish destroyer, while trying not to die. Sounds about right. A heavy cruiser design. This is the only ship that I get to make. Let's have a look at the Purin first. There she is. A couple of 4.7 inch guns, a set of torpedoes that I'm not allowed to touch, uh, and one anti-air gun just for good measure. <clears throat> okay, and for every 100 points that this ship does, we can actually get some points. Now this gives me a really weird situation because I would like to not risk the Purim too much. So I can try and deliver a serious blow to the Bismarck using the heavy cruiser. But if I do too much damage and the Bismarck sinks somehow due to a heavy cruiser, then the Purim will not be able to have scored a whole lot of points. Now my thinking and my plan is as follows. What I want to try and do is eliminate the firepower of the Bismarck. I want to try and destroy her secondaries. And then I can send in the Purun. That's the plan. So I'm going to have a heavy cruiser which is armed with some serious firepower. Mostly very deadly AP shells. Now ah, you won't need an anti torpedo blister. Bismarck doesn't have torps. Um, in order to do that damage to the secondaries, I'm going to have to bring some serious amounts of pen. Let's see what I can fit on this British heavy cruiser. What are we getting for tier? Mark 5s. Nice, nice, nice. 11 inch Mark 5s with a reload of 39 seconds. Now we're starting at 15 kilometers. Um, I kind of set this myself as there was no range specified. So other content creators, linked down below, might use different ranges. Jeez, that's an enormous secondary tower. Large secondary tower, you don't say. This thing does get a bit of long range accuracy bonus. Okay. Okay, I can use that. Uh, generation 3 radar disallowed. Generation 2 radar, let's go. 
I'm going to keep the heavy cruiser at a nice bit of range, so we're not going to do any kind of up-close battle. This, well, hopefully, is also going to keep this ship alive, which is something I would uh, very much like. I mean, losing this heavy cruiser is not a big deal. It doesn't seem to impact your score, but I would like the heavy cruiser to start drawing as much fire as possible. Do I really need 11 inches? Let's say I want to have an 11 inch, I want to have... To, whoops! Stay where you are. I want to have 11 inches, and if I put capped ballistic on there... And the enemy... What's my armor quality? 158%. Bloody hell. That's most likely theirs as well. Um, I can now pen, at 15 kilometer range, 10 inches of armor. Should be sufficient to deal with the enemy secondaries. A bit more firepower now. 11.6. Hmm. Now, I can upgrade that if I just extend the length of the barrels. Because that generally gives you more pen. Now we're looking at 14 inches of pen. The problem that I do see with this ship is that she's going to take a heck of a lot of a beating from the German battleship. So as such, she's either going to have to be really heavily armored in order to take that pounding and still keep sailing, or we're going to have to try and make her so fast that she's impossible to hit. Either is going to be, uh, well, challenging at the very least. Do I really need this level of pen to kill a secondary? Let's say that the Germans have, like, what, 9 inch? No. What did Bismarck have? Like 6 inch secondaries? So, if I want to up armor a 6 inch gun, it can be 8.7 inches as maximum. Alright. Alright, alright. How much can you armor up an 11 incher? 15.9. So, I will not be able to pen an 11 inch gun. Bismarck had 15 inches, if I'm not mistaken. So, they're probably able to armor those up more. Which means that if I want to destroy their primary guns, I'm going to have to get very close. Which sounds rather uncomfortable. What can a 10 inch do for me? Can a 10 inch do what I need it to do? It can pen 8 inches of armor. No, we're going to stick with this. We're going to stick with this, because that might be angled. Put that as far forward as possible, so we can get some, oh, some free spinning turrets. Bit more. There it is. I'm gonna have a hell of a citadel on this ship. It's enormous. It's basically the whole ship. Uh, yes. Shall we? Whoops. What the hell? The undo system still feels a little wonky at times. Put that there, put that there. Alright. Now, this is not going to do a 360, but considering how massive this tower is, I don't think that's very likely. Now, looking at the <laughs> looking at the schematic, you can see that my ship, uh, my citadel is basically stem to stern. I can make this smaller, but it doesn't really matter. What I can try and do is get more inner belts. Just make any hit as, let's say, as reduced as possible. Deck armor, um, all of it. Four deck, aft deck, like I basically don't have any. Two inches should be fine. Put nine inches on the conning tower, that's the maximum. Um, increase. Oh, actually. Uh, okay, so that doesn't really do much. Hold on, you can travel 45,000 kilometers on a single tank? That's a lot. Okay, how fast can we make this thing before it. there? Before it falls off a cliff. 35.5. <laughs> and then we're suddenly adding 6,000 tons. 35.4. And we're fine. Welcome to the magical and wonderful world that is Dreadnoughts. Now, I do want to have some barbette armor. Um, incendiary shells I'm not that likely to use. Let's use super heavy shells. And with that... Yeah, that should be sufficient. Reload's 37 seconds. It's a bit long, but hmm, that's what we get. 
Optimal speed 33. Oh, this thing is actually faster. But it's also smaller. Yeah, I'm not building another cruiser. What am I going to do with another couple thousand tons of displacement? I could make these things even bigger. But that's going to make my reload... Oh, I'm only making my reload a couple seconds longer. And my pen goes up to 17 inches. Yeah, why not? Why not? Okay. I think we're good to go. I don't really know what else to put the displacement into. I mean, I could make this thing wide. Get additional stability for the guns. That could be a nice upgrade. But you're always paying for something with something else. Like, acceleration is bad, turning rate is bad, uh, turning at max speed is bad, operational range is reduced. Increase that a touch. And I guess I could increase the draft, but that generally doesn't do that much. Um, <clears throat> accuracy at cruise speed does not... Yeah, it does get a bonus, 10%. Now, what can I get the best cruise speed with engine-wise? What can I get the best bonus? 75% of top, 60% of top, 80% of top, but engine vibration, how much is that? 100, no, sorry, 15. And here, 22 and a half. I think the diesel one might be slightly better, but they're also heavier. Okay, fine. Better auxiliary engine, nope. Um, balanced rudder, we're going to maintain speed. And the rest of that, I don't know. Armor. It's just a really, really heavily armored cruiser. There we go. Slight four weight offset, but I can live with that. It'll be fine. Maybe... Yeah, now we're shifting at 20 to the back. No, it's fine. Okay, let's go. All right, here goes. Drake, Serene, Purun, and Gala. I'm going to get these guys out of here ASAP. Smoke yourselves up. Don't do anything stupid and don't get hit by the Bismarck. Let's have a look at the Bismarck. How do you like? Yep, 15 inch guns. 15 inch guns. 5.9 in secondaries. That was 0.1 inch off. And then we have a couple of 4.1s. That is not something I want to sail your destroyer into, so that's what I'm going to try and remove from that ship. I need to keep Purun alive at all costs. So for now, I'm going to just sail almost directly away from the Bismarck. At least with this destroyer. Don't touch this thing. This is the only ship that can do damage. It has to survive. If they nail some of the... Oh, Jesus. If they nail some of the other DDs, so be it. I won't lose any sleep over it. But if they start sinking the Puron, I am in danger. Oh boy! Ooh, good pen. You're in range of their secondaries. Get out. Flooding would be great. Flooding would be really nice. Give that thing a nice list and make sure it's unable to fire the guns. Ricochets. Off clicks out. She's coming directly after you, sir. Get out of there, Drake. Could you stop firing at the Puron, please? Because that smoke screen is going to run out any minute. And I really do not want to have this ship destroyed. And remember, I cannot use the torpedoes on my DDs to make this thing change course. What sort of torps did you get anyway? 15 kilometers. That would have been nice. I suspect Bismarck would have had, or at least this Bismarck probably has some sort of sonar to at least spot the torps. Drake's only using about half of her firepower at this point. There's the rest of it. Okay, we're outside of the range of their secondaries. The ship, however, is heavily angled. Yeah, we're just getting ricochets. Give me HE shells and turn away again. Time is not a factor. <clears throat> so if I can just disengage for a bit and potentially let the Bismarck waste some ammo, then that is a valid option. Oh, she almost has no HE shells. That's a good thing. 
And that's a bad thing. Because the HE shells are going to cut a destroyer in half with one hit. 15 inch HE? Yeah, no thank you. Um, those 5.9s? They have HE for days, and so do the 4 inchers. What's the armor on those guns? 7.2 inches, yeah. Now the factor is luck in this one. Can I, well, accidentally, if you will, hit a secondary? Normally, when you don't want your secondaries destroyed, the game gives you absolutely no, uh, <laughs> no quarter and just starts eliminating your secondaries. Now I'm intentionally trying to destroy them, and I'm not sure if that's going to work. We're getting overpens, probably on their secondaries. No, aft deck, main belt, core belt. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Speaking of, what's your chance to pen? 7%? Damn. I mean, sure, I'm facing a battleship, but come on. Drake. Oh, you're still spinning your turrets around after a turn. There she goes. Partial pen. Keep in mind, all the damage that the Drake does is nice, but it does not add anything to my score. That's the problem. Ooh, damage to my main guns. That was not in the program. Ricochet, partials. My HE will only set fires. That's not going to cut it. Um, spacious quarter, so crew loss is not a factor for them. Up until about 30%. Ooh. We pent their bow. Nice. Very nice. Where do you have 21 inches of armor? On the 15 inches. Good lord. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't kill my destroyers. Don't kill the Pyorun. I need that thing alive. Drake still has plenty of shells left. Chance to pen. 7% still. <sighs> I want the Pyrrhon to uh, get out of the div and then rejoin the div. Reason being, I want her in the back. So that Gala and Serene are going to take the first bit of the beatings when that's inevitably going to happen. Smoke in 60 seconds. Bismarck is now definitely firing armor piercing, which could be an advantage. If the Bismarck fires AP at a destroyer, it is possible that the AP is going to overpen and just do no damage. That would be a very nice situation for me to be in. <clears throat> We're 20 clicks out and I still get good accuracy. They, however, get shit accuracy. Much to uh, the pleasure of the Gala, because she almost got destroyed there. There's more flooding. They have... Yeah, they got 40% damage and stability. Very good. But I'm not hitting a secondary. Are you out of range? Bullshit. You have 54 kilometer range on the AP shells. There she goes. Okay, smoke. Some of these shells are landing much closer to my DDs than what I really want to see. I can only pen their superstructure. Right. Alright. Let's just farm the Bismarck for a little bit. Regular crew. There is the element of time that I can use as a resource. And here's how. If the Bismarck is going to go through her ammunition supplies, then that would be perfect. Because the closer I get, and the fewer shells she has, the less likely she is to be able to damage the drake. Because these 5.9s, they are just going to ricochet off of the drake's armor all day. I'm not concerned. 
when it comes to my ability to deal damage with the DDs, I feel it's very limited. So I want to have the Drake go in there and tank and just soak up as much damage as possible. And that means I need to be able to do that. And having the Bismarck run out of 15 inch shells would be a great way to go about that. I think Drake is still firing through a smoke. Yeah. Bismarck's been reduced to about 80% structural and 90% buoyancy. Not bad. Not bad. They've lost 11% of their crew. Now officially, even after these 8 minutes, I have not scored a single point. Oh boy. That was a good hit on the Gala. Now see, the, the, <laughs> the good news is, um, it is only AP. HE would have floored the Gala and just completely massacred the ship. Disengage. Disengage. A bit. This mark's taking more flooding. I'm about. Start swinging the guns around. Our damage and stability is still... Something. Yeah, 50. Excellent. But 600 sh Oh, Serene just took another big hit. Like, it might look... Fairly harmless with 0% chance to hit or two... What the hell? 2% chance to hit, but the Serene just took another hit. How do you do that? Are you even targeting... Yeah, they are, they are targeting the DDs. Alright, so be it. Um, how's the list on the Bismarck? Listing to starboard a touch. Okay. Continue putting pressure on the Bismarck. The more she floods, the better it'll be. Drake continues to hammer. She still has 400 shells left to do that with. There's more flooding on the Bismarck. Very good. There's more flooding. At this point, I've got to be a bit careful. If she over floods and sinks, I still get no points. 6%? What are you targeting? Oh, you're targeting the Wounded Serene. Right. Humor me. Start sailing in circles. That's going to really throw off the aim of the Bismarck. Cease fire. The Bismarck is flooding to 33%. I think it's time for the Purin to make her approach. What's the range? 11-9. Okay, use HE only. Only this destroyer can deal damage. Or rather, only the destroyer's uh, damage of Purun is going to count. And if I want to double my score, we're going to have to get very close. Bismarck has stopped flooding. Her list is awful. I think I have destroyed some secondaries... Yeah, one of the 5.9s is out, but the <laughs> after all that shooting, that's the only thing I've achieved? Oh, wow. But they are getting an angle warning. So they can't shoot. That's good. That's really good. Now, this is not like a get out of jail free card or an approach to Bismarck for free card. Because sometimes, if you find, let's say, the wrong angle, and the ship tends to get approached from directly behind, that's when you can start taking some serious damage. Because suddenly, all the guns will work. Okay, so here's the rule. I need to get to 5 kilometers. And I have done jack shit for damage with Pyorun. She's done 3.4 3. damage. Oh, no, 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 no. This is what I was exactly worried about. Don't kill the pure one. 5.8. 5.7. 5.6. 
five 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 four split the div they're gonna have to pick a target and they're, they're picking the gala five oh this is polish destroyer pure to bismarck go fuck yourself Jeez, I'm still not doing any kind of damage here. What are you targeting? Gala. <coughs> oh, Gala's taking some fire. One of the 5.9s is opening up against Gala. We've still only done 31 damage? What can these AP rounds do? Like, anything? 48 damage. Oh boy. Are you taking fire? Gala? No, they're not taking fire just yet. But everything's getting blocked. The only thing that the Pyrrhon can damage is their superstructure. 56 points of damage. After 192 hits. No! What is that? That's AP. From the 15s. I do not like this one bit. Need to keep... Yeah, I need to keep the Drake somewhat in range. 61 damage. Come on, Pyrrhon. Okay, pick your own damn ammo. What are you targeting? The Pyrrhon. Are we doing any kind of fire damage by any chance? No, we've set zero fires. Oh boy. Ah. Damn it. Oh, we passed the 100 points mark. Look at that. Look at that. Now, I took a second to look up the scoring, and here's what it says. If you do damage with the Pyrrhon, you get one point. Like, 100 damage that the Pyrrhon does is one point. Perfect. But, here's the clinger. These remain if the Pyrrhon dies during the engagement. Sinking the Bismarck will earn you 50 points and possibly a bonus. The bonus is that I had to get within 5 kilometer range, which I have. Sinking the Bismarck while the Pyrrhon is still alive, double the total earned points again. So... As I'm reading this, I'm thinking, okay, if I sink the Bismarck, and I can do that with the Drake, I can get 50 points times 2, because I have already announced with the Pyrrhon that I am a Polish destroyer. And if I'm sinking the Bismarck while the Pyrrhon is still alive, I can get my doubled uh, points again. So that would be 50 points, and I'm not counting the points from the Pyrrhon, because it's like marginal. 50 points for sinking the Bismarck, times 2 because I made the approach, times 2 because I have sunk the Bismarck. 200 points. Pyrrhon, survive is your only objective. It's the only thing you need to do now. Jeez, that was close. There's the Drake opening fire again. At this point, I'm safe. Because now Pyrrhon can no longer get fired upon by Bismarck. Your speed is still remarkably good, considering that 30% of your hull is filled with water. We're gonna put this German battleship out of its misery. More flooding, please. And that's how three destroyers and a heavy cruiser took down the Bismarck. Who needs swordfish bombers anyway? 15% buoyancy. 12. Nope, they're back up to 13. Steady at 13. Pure runs racing away to safety. 13 kilometers out. They're targeting the Gala now. Okay, perfect. Not my concern. Not my concern. Like, if the Gala dies, meh. So be it. <clears throat> Range. 
11 kilometers. We're approaching fast, and now we can pen their belt. And there it is. The flooding. That's the thing I seek. More blocked. That's fine. We're going to get a ton of points on this one. We're going to get a ton of points on this one. There's flooding. There's some pen. I feel kind of bad for sinking the Bismarck, but at the same time, it's going to give me a lot of points. Drake. Come on. Yeah, now she's bow in. I don't really want her bow in, because she's still able to fire the guns if she's bow in. Which is bad. Boink. Ricochet. Come on, 97% chance to hit, and a 50-50% chance to pen. That's the stuff right there. Slow down. Oh, and now she's angling again. Ricochet chance is decreasing. Or increasing, I should say. Average. Kill it! Flooding! More flooding. We can see 7%. She's targeting the heavy cruiser now. She can definitely eliminate the Drake with AP if she really desires it. Her buoyancy is holding at 7%. Drake, increase speed. Come to the other side of the Bismarck. Pyrun should be well and clear. Yep, she's 26 kilometers out. And there's more flooding. She's a tough little ship. Well... 50,000 tons. <clears throat> Not so little. Definitely tough, though. Yes. Good lord, this thing <laughs> refuses to sink. She's turning away again. Increase speed. I need to stay on her broadside. Which is a really weird thing to say when you're fighting a battleship with a heavy cruiser. But this time around, it's actually true. Because if I fall behind that ship, she has a very good chance of eliminating me. Come on. 1%. Done it! Yes! The plan didn't work, <laughs> but it worked. The plan didn't work, but it worked. Now, points. Um, how much damage did the Pyrrhon actually do? 122, isn't that cute? So, total score. The Pyrrhon did 122 points. Um, for every 100 damage that the Pyrrhon does, you get one point. So, I gained one point with the Pyrrhon. But, if Bismarck dies, sinking Bismarck will earn you 50 points and possibly a bonus. So, I'm at 51 points. Um, if you are approaching the Bismarck within 5 kilometer range, um, you can double the points earned in this engagement. So I'm suddenly sitting not on uh, 51 points, but on 102. Very nice. Sinking the Bismarck while Purin is still alive. Double the points again. So yes, you can double the already doubled points. So we have scored 204 points in this scenario by sinking the Bismarck. Uh, the Drake, absolutely instrumental. 9,500 points of damage done, 92 damage taken. When it comes to the price tag, <laughs> she's a bit expensive. Two and a half billion. Uh, she's almost as expensive as the Bismarck. <laughs> oh well. Uh, economy was never the point of this mission. It's not the point to be cheap. It's the point to tell the tale of the Pyrrhon, keep her alive, and have her approach the Bismarck and announce her intentions. Which I have, and it's gained me 204 points. Now, be sure to check out the other guys, linked down below in the description. I'm eager to see how they did, so check them out, and let's see together. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon for the next one.